Hi everybody, Ron here from Clustered Networks, and today what I'm going to do is talk about uh, doing remote off-site backups of your VPS with rsync and SSH and a cron job. Now you may say, well, what do I need backups for? I just take a snapshot every day and and uh, let uh, DigitalOcean or Linode or AWS worry about the backups. Uh, well, that's not really the case because yes, they do do the backups and and uh, nine times out of 10, it does work. However, if you do a search on ransomware attacks, manage.com, which is one of the major hosts in North America, uh, actually went down and some customers were down for three weeks because the backups were corrupted as well and they didn't have the backups. So I always like to have a backup of my own just in case DigitalOcean goes down or just in case AWS goes down or who knows what may happen. Anyway, it's really easy to set up with remote offsite backups of your VPS and you can do this with rsync and SSH and a cron job. So I have the files up um, that I'll be using today on our GitHub page and uh, I'll have the links in that as well afterward uh, along with some directions and uh, but let's get into it it's really quite simple uh, to do it so I've got a server that's running here it's a backup server uh, that I use and basically if we look at that diagram again I've got a backup server here at my office and I've got servers on actually I've got servers on Linode in Toronto I've got uh, DigitalOcean servers in New York and in Toronto plus I have AWS in Ohio as well as in Seattle so I've got servers around and I want to have them all backed up to one central backup server that I have in my own office so I'm backing up those VPS's remotely and it, it really happens really quick it, it only takes a few minutes each night and it all runs with a cron job so I'll show you how that all works so I've got the files down here from our github page let's edit the file and then uh, or take a look at it and we'll see what they look like first of all there's two ways you can connect to SSH with rsync you can do it with a key with an SSH key or you can do it with a password depending how your server is set up in one of those hosts so let's look at the key one first so this is basically coming from the backup server going out to the remote host grabbing the backup files that I've done locally which I have a, a YouTube video about that as well and then bringing them back to my server and putting them into a directory so let's take a look at that file so we'll look at the key one first so here it says the host server 9clusterednetworks.com the remote user is Ubuntu uh, which is standard for AWS I've got a key that I've set up here just for the demo purposes of uh, a temp key uh, that's my SSH key and then I've got the local path which is home backup backup test which is just a testing that I've got set up home backup backup test for the, the files that I'm pulling from. So basically when this script runs, it runs rsync and then has a few options as well. It says use SSH, here is the key. So it grabs that key from the path. Then it says log in as remote user to remote host to remote path and then back it up to the local path, which is all what I have in these settings. So let's see how that script works. I'll exit out of here. and it copies the files from server 9 to my backup server. It's already done as well. Now let's look at the one with the password. And I've got a test server set up here. Server02.clusterednetworks.com. The remote user is rontest. The remote password is rontest1234. 
uh, don't bother trying to log into it because you won't be able to find it because it's not uh, accessible uh, on the internet. However, uh, it's access accessible by uh, my own access that I have private access. Um, here's the backup directories once again. So basically, it's um, this script also uses another software package you need in addition to rsync, which is called SSH Pass, and uh, you just apt get and install it, and it just works. So uh, SSH Pass says use this password, and then rsync has these options, and then SSH remote user, remote host, remote path to the local path. So it's pretty much the same as the last script. So let's run that script and see how it works. So it's rsync ssh password.sh. And you could rename these files. But basically you um, all have instructions on how you can uh, get them from a GitHub page. And then you make them executable. And then you just run it and, and change the, uh, court, the options to, to match your environment. And... Um, Basically, it's coming from server two, backing up to this local server that I've got running here in my office. And again, it's done. So if I go into those directories, if I go home, uh, backup, backup test, helps if I spell it right. There we can see that the files are in there exactly as the way they should have been. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is to be able to set up a cron job to run that script. So depending where you put it, I like to put those scripts in my Etsy directory and then run them from there. So if I do a cron tab, minus I'm just going to do an L and list what's in the cron tab. So there you can see uh, Etsy, rsync, and the script to be able to run. And I've got them running at uh, one minute after three in the morning. And then I got one running at 30 minutes after three, so 3.30 in the morning. And I got one running at 3.45, 45 minutes after three in the morning, every day of the week, every day of the month, every day of the year. Um, so it just runs and backs up and puts those files in to whatever the, the shell script environment settings I have for it. So that's all there is to do it. And you can actually back up a number of different servers, whether you're on Linode, DigitalOcean, AWS, uh, your customer's servers, all kinds of things that you can run backups. And rsync just works. It just simply runs nice. So I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll have more uh, uh, YouTube videos showing how to um, operate your servers and how you can run them securely. So thanks for watching. One other thing I forgot to mention is uh, I have a link to um, um, subscribing up on Linode or DigitalOcean. Uh, either, either one of them are good places to host your servers and uh, it'll give you a discount. Uh, so if you log in with a link that's provided below, uh, you'll receive that discount. So thanks for watching.